the seat of McMahon is traditionally a very strong Labor seat. How will you be voting this coming election? Which one's McMahon? That's this, this seat. This seat, here's McMahon, is it? Okay. Oh, well, I don't know all the political names for it. Okay. But of course voting? I'll be voting Labor, I'll always vote Labor. And has that changed since last night? Were you going to vote Labor? Of course, of course. There's oh, no way in the world we could vote Liberal, uh, especially Tony Abbott. Maybe Turnbull, maybe, but no way with Abbott. Why? They're only interested in helping the rich. They don't spread, spread the benefits around like Labor do, uh, like the disability pension. That's not going to help me or anything, but I like to see that that money's being used to spend on people, on a large okay. lot of people, okay. rather than giving tax cuts. Is this your first time voting this year? Yeah, it will be. And do you know who you're going to vote for? No, Labor? no idea. <laughs> Probably Labor, I'd say. Yeah, but no idea. No. So you don't have any... Um policies that might affect your decision? No, not really. What do you think about the leadership change last night? Don't follow it at all. And what about your friends? Do you talk about politics? No, nah, not at all. <laughs> Alright, thank you. It's going back to uh, Labor, but then what happened with uh, Gillard and uh, Rudd and everything? No, I'm still Liberal now. So the fact that Rudd is in has not nope. changed your sway? No, anyway. because to me personally... He showed his colours when he first had the opportunity to spill in the government and he wouldn't do it. He expected the rest of them to put him up on their shoulders and carry him like he was a saviour. And to me, that was a sign of a not a strong man, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not sure how it would impact me now, so I'm not really sure. And what about your friends? My friends? Well, they seem to be OK with it. Um, and they're pretty happy that he's back because they they're more into... Um, labour than me and I also did commerce and I also know what their aim and what they're um, for so I'm okay with it as well and my friends are okay with it. They don't care about politics. Why do you think that is? Um, I think they're just not educated enough and because it's I don't know I just don't think they they care really yeah but they still vote but they don't they don't care who they vote for. Are there any particular policies that affect you directly in terms of um, voting? I guess oh I don't know, it just really depends because like with my grandparents you know, I like you know I like that whole you know the pension thing and all the the benefits that they get so that's why I just go for labor <laughs> I don't want to go liberal liberal is it yeah, yeah. I don't want to yeah, go labor. labor yeah you want to go liberal yeah liberal yeah I don't want Kevin Rudd no way why just... in-house fighting yeah they, if they can't decide who they want why should we help them Excuse decide me. you know what I mean yeah. I don't know it's the same. Yeah. They're so confused about that. They're more concerned with that than what's better for our country and stuff. Like, it's more in-house fighting than sorting out what we need and stuff like that. Chris Bowen, I think, is a great bloke. Yeah, I think he's very good. Pity to lose Peter Garrett, too. I'm sorry to see him go, because I like Midnight Oil. Maybe he'll put out another album. <laughs> he might do, yeah, with Julia Gillard. <laughs>